This is the first ever Collins Cup. All the greatest athletes are here. Team Europe. Team Internationals. Team US. For the first time in history, the road to the Collins Cup starts here. Overall, I mean, the Collins Cup, it's almost like the hope of triathlon. Yeah, it's not a normal race. No matter what, don't be the weakest link. Well, I think growing up as a kid, you always wanted to represent your country. The Europeans are the ones to beat. Europe, we're going to win hands down. I would love to dish out some to the Europeans. Let's just all go give it hell, man. I think the other team should be scared of Team International. We can look at the numbers, see what's on paper, say who's going to win the Collins Cup. But what's the fun in that? Team Europe wins Collins Cup like it's simple. It's going to happen. I feel like this is a lifelong goal of mine. I've worked so hard to be in this position and I will do anything to get it and whatever it takes. I think for me, for so long, it's been about convincing myself that I belong. And it's been more of a mental game than a physical game. I mean, I love the physical side of training and racing, but the mental side, it, it doesn't come easy. I feel like I still have to work a lot on not not getting frazzled by other people, particularly in race week. Winning the Collins Cup would be huge for me because all the best women in the world are going to be on this start list. I guess Holly and I are fairly close in age. I feel like on the race course, we're both very strong, dominant personalities, and we just don't take any uh, shit. We had an altercation on the race course at uh, 70.3 World Champs in 2019, where some not very nice words were exchanged when I had a mechanical issue. But if I can get the opportunity to have a head-to-head matchup with her, I would relish in that opportunity. <laughs> and then for Team Americas, I actually want to race Sky Monch. She seems to be on fire at the moment. Oh, I'd love that. I'd love to be racing alongside her. Neither of us are going to back down. The fire is burning to, uh, to come up on top. Hard work is more important than raw talent. Talent can be outworked. I feel like everything I've done in my life has been a result of hard work. And here I am, one of the top ranked people in the world, you know? It's a privilege, right? Like, sure, I've earned it, but, you know, if this was five years ago, I would not even be in the mix to be going at all. I'm preparing for the Collins Cup by mentally preparing for that head-to-head -head battle. The best athletes are going to be there. And racing the best athletes is where you can show how good you are. I think the other teams see Team US as probably not much of a threat. We're regarded as an underdog for a reason. Our rankings are lower. As much as I love being number one in the US, I know there's a lot of work to do. And I know how tough the racing is. And I know, you know, the European women are incredibly strong. That pleasure from the pain that you put in, it can be a bit sadistic, it, it really is, but I think a lot of the best athletes love that pain. I recently 
put myself into a whole new challenge where I wanted to try and do the Olympic swimming trials for the 1500 meter freestyle. I only had six weeks to turn around six months of no swimming. So I knew I had to work harder than I probably ever had worked in the pool for six weeks. And I remember just crushing myself. And I was hitting the pace I wanted to hit and it was killing me. And I was dying. I remember finishing the, the set and just laying on the poolside thinking, yes, like, I've done it. I've smashed myself to bits. It's definitely strange, but I, maybe it's something that we're wired differently as athletes to want to feel that pain. I would like to say that my headspace could potentially be stronger than some other athletes. And maybe at the point where they would give up, I wouldn't, I would keep pushing on. It definitely makes me a strong athlete and a solid athlete to have on a team at the Collins Cup because I'm willing to fight to the death in a battle. I've obviously represented my country, but I've never represented a whole continent of Europe. The stakes are higher, it means more. You need to play your part and prove that you deserve to be on that team. We've got a really strong team of women. We have Daniela Reef. We have Annie Howe. We have myself. We've got some of the best athletes we've ever had in this sport in the history of it. Nationally, is the women's side. The men's side is absolutely out of this world. Behind the scenes, you know, it's always, everybody always thinks I'm this Teflon guy who rocks up at the start line and everything's gone super smooth. I can definitely tell you that pressure is a privilege. Uh, it's something I work hard for, it's something I've fought very hard for and, and, and something I, I love. I've always needed pressure. It really is something that makes me know that I'm alive. Road isn't endless. And of course, in sport, it's generally time capped. You know, I can't do this until I'm 50. So knowing that it's limited is obviously something that, that draws everybody in. And I, I've realized that early enough that I can still enjoy it before it's over. I think that really is the part of the motivation. I'm quite curious to see yeah, what, the, what the format brings. Always when you have to qualify to be there, it adds a certain level of excitement, you know, it has that sort of Olympic element where everybody's even excited for the trials. I think the dynamics will also be very different because it's the same field, but you're spread apart. So there are only a handful of athletes in the half and in the long distance, at very best, that I see performing as well as they do in a group environment than they do on their own. I need to have a competitor. I think Lionel's obsessed with winning. If you give me Jan, I will give you the performance of the entire competition. I hope he is. If he's obsessed with beating me, that's probably why he's not beating me. No one on this team wants to beat Jan more than I do. But a lot of people see his training numbers, which are amazing, and think he should set the world on fire, which he, he almost does. I actually look at him as tough. And I like that. I, I really appreciate that quality of, of an athlete. There are not that many guys that can race that style. It has been an epic, epic journey to arrive here. I set this goal when I was pregnant of qualifying for 
the Collins Cup in 2021. And I didn't really know what that was gonna mean for me. Looking back, I was confident that I could do it, but I think that that was quite naive because I had no idea what the journey to get here would actually look like. In some ways, my mentality as an athlete is the same as it's always been. I still am very, very competitive and I still want to be the best I possibly can be in the sport of triathlon. Congratulations. Thank you. Glad you're here. Thanks, me too. <laughs> you too. Did you just get here? I just got here a couple hours ago, yeah. When you bring a little person into the world and you're, you're really fighting for them and you know, you're trying to build this life for them and there's a lot more on the line now in some ways. Here we go. Here we go. Should be fun. I know. Should be fun. How you doing? Not too bad. How about yourself? Travel all right? Yeah, I'm good. And you? Oh, not too bad. There we go. Uh, See, the good set for the end of the halls, eh? Yeah. I've been here many times now. I actually quite I feel quite at home here. Uh, I've done this race twice, this, the, the, the championship, which was here. Collins Cup, on the other hand, I mean, this is this is an amazing event, uh, very intriguing. I have no idea what to expect. I mean, I've never done like a team style triathlon event, so I, I really don't know how this is going to unfold. But I'm excited for it. It's fun to see uh, all the all the athletes in the halls. It's fun to talk strategy and what could be and who could battle each other and everyone's strengths and weaknesses. But uh, I promise you that I am going to give someone a run for their money. I'll do whatever task they, they ask of me. If they give me yawn, I will do my very best to bridge the gap on the bike and then give him a run for his money. And if they give me someone else, then I, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make them hurt, that's for certain. Especially if they give me Rudy Von Berg, I'm gonna make him hurt. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I, I don't need to hear for your question. I only heard my name though. I, I don't know, know what this is about. Right my eye. This is a weird part of all this crap. We got people, you, like, you gotta watch what you're saying. You got people in, in, <laughs> all the time. I was super confident. You see the Europe athletes and you're like, yeah, of course it's gonna be a landslide. But then the more you're you know, really thinking about how the ins and outs of the race is going to go and the matchups, that it's so crucial about who the matchup is that that could make all the difference. So it might, you know, it might not be, you know, just such a clean sweep like we think it will be. So Ellie calling me out to race um, doesn't change. Uh, I feel like I've raced her a lot, so yeah, I don't really fear racing anyone. I, I just enjoy racing and I. And it's more just then, once you find out who you're racing, trying to figure out how it's going to play out and how you can try and get an edge over them. But, you know, I'll race anyone, so if it's Ali, then bring it on. in our new international kit here. You didn't win enough medals. Oh, uh, yes, look at us, hey? <laughs> here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite the introduction. I'd love to race against Holly on Saturday. I hope that's exactly what will happen. That's actually really cool. Yeah, it's a soft on the right. Yeah, and on the front. Oh, I'd love that. I hope I am. I really think I will be racing her, and I really hope that I'll be racing against her. Feeling very ready. I'm actually really excited because this is like probably the biggest block I've been able to put in, in ever. I just arrived, so I haven't really spoken to anyone. I spoke to Sebi Keenle a couple of days ago when he got picked, which was pretty cool. I think he's coming out with his family, so I'm looking forward to catching up with the guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Um, I, I haven't raced Sam Long yet. I haven't actually seen him. I've never met him. Um, I, I mean, he's obviously done hugely well for himself throughout the pandemic time and racing, you know, all over the States. And yeah, I think it's great for him to come out to Europe and, um, and, and I'm looking forward to some potential racing, but I have no idea who's, who will be matched up against. So it'll be good to see him and a few others, see how they fare. Meeting up with Team Europe today was uh, quite uh, cool, and um, I'm—I mean, it's for everyone new in triathlon. You know, it's been—we've seen it in other sports, but how it's actually gonna feel when we race as a team. Um, I always enjoy racing for a team. Of course, you hope to not let to your team down. Um, that's definitely. The only fear, um, in the other, in the other hand, I think there's nothing to lose. You know, it's just um, we go out there and give our best, and um, and of course try to honor um, Team Europe. And, and I think if we do, we'll all do that, then we have nothing to lose. Wow, I love it. Flag. The stars and stripes. I'm totally excited to find out who's racing who. It's the main highway from. Home. Yeah, I think that's going to be really fun and exciting. I'm excited for it, and. I'm excited to see who everyone else races as well. He's been given over to the Slovak government. Even though I won't necessarily get to watch it all, I'm, I'm just excited to see the matchups and then, you know, play out in my head all how I think maybe the matchup would go. And, you know, that's kind of just fun to speculate. Well, you gotta have fun. Lots of toys. Maybe some toys you'd want to use in the, in the bedroom. I don't know. Some toys to get the legs ready to race. We'll leave it up for debate. We'll let, uh, we'll let you guys comment to decide what type of toys are in here. This is by far the premier event of the year, and I can't help but feel that, that all of us here were making history and, and that we're changing triathlon for the future forever. Whatever matchup I'm in, and, and I expect to be put in a pretty heavy matchup as, as USA number one, and, and I want to set the example that, that we can be the underdogs and that we can win this thing. You know, Lionel got his sh shot against Jan, and. He also, uh, he's still the number one ranked guy, but yeah, I don't know if he's, if he's gonna have what it takes. And I'd feel a little slighted if I don't get a race, race Jan, I think, as a bit of a defining matchup. Fresh in our USA uniforms. Yeah, I like that. Big red and a little white and blue. Exactly. Black. Thanks for coming in. We just wanted to talk a little bit about the matchups before, um, we actually are going to um, be choosing. And I wanted you to know that we are going to put you up if we get the chance against Daniela Reef. And that reaction right there, where you just nod and say, okay, <laughs> is the reason we are doing it. It's, uh, you are fearless, and that's exactly what we need. Sam, you're at the top of our list, so you weren't a captain's pick, you were a clear pick. And um, because you're at the top of the list, if we get the chance, we want to put you against Jan Frodeno. Awesome. Perfect. I think you can show him something that nobody else is, is capable of doing. I've always thought if, if you're going to race somebody, you may as well go against the best guy. We put the people that we think can take down the best of Europe because Europe says, we are Europe, we are the best, dun, 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 dun. you can go get second or you can get the broken spoke. I'm not in the mood for the broken spoke. All right. Here we go, gang. Welcome to the opening ceremony for the inaugural Collins Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, how good does it feel to say it is finally here? A unique competition in which teams from the US, Europe, and the internationals will do battle to see who rules the sport of triathlon. Jan. You're the first guy. The strongest legs in the sport. Yo, 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 Sam Long. We see our own Sam Appleton. For the next match, Holy Lawrence. With Sky March. We're going with Ellie Salthouse. Lionel Sanders. Easy one, Sebastian. Sebastian Kingley to the stage, please. Andrew Starkowitz. Daniela Reed Taylor Nick. With Teresa Adam. But coming together here at the Collins Cup is a momentous occasion for all these athletes and they will reflect back on this five years from now, 10 years, 15, 20 years, where they'll say, I was in that inaugural event.